Hello everyone, what is up? It is Cyborg Elf here with another video. And today I have part two of the Cody a Game Hack from Scratch video. And this uh, this series is for beginners, so I have other videos where I go over advanced cheat engine things. But in this video, you know, my primary goal was to kind of get people hooked on game hacking to say, because game hacking can be frustrating. Um, Especially with the coding going on so if you haven't seen part one I recommend you go watch it and for this uh, series this two-part series I chose to hack an emulator um, just because emulators they're ROM so the values um, are all static or mostly static so it, ma it makes it really easy to game hack and also uh, very fun but coming back to where we left off on part one uh, we have gotten the value of our of our health already so let me go show you this as you can see you know I just got hit by the snail my health goes down you can physically see it going down over there um, but let me go back to the save state and boom it goes back up to three hearts All right, so now what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna make a, a trainer and cheat engine. And the good thing about this, it's quite simple. So if you're not, if you, there is no uh, anti-cheat for whatever game you're hacking, um, making a trainer like this is probably one of the best routes to go, especially on ROMs or uh, emulated games, just cause those are like such simple games and it's not really uh, fruitful. To code a large um, a large project just for it if you're not gonna use a bypass now if y'all if you're into like more of this com uh, complex coding things like I already said I do have videos on that but anyways let's get started on the trainer now make sure you do have whatever process you're hacking uh, selected and open if it has an anti-cheat make sure it's disabled um, you always got to be safe guys you don't want to get banned but this emulator doesn't have anti-cheat, it's a, it's a very old SNES game. Um, but anyways, you want to come over to, so whatever is in this table down here is going to be what's in your cheat. Now we're going to, we want health in our cheat, the health hack, so you want to right click and we're going to set hotkeys to control the health. So let's uh, change this to set value to, let's copy this value and now whenever we press alt one or we should be given um three hearts so let's go test this out now let's go get hit by the snail alt one. Oh wow okay uh so there boom alt alt one alt one and so on and so forth um Oops, okay. Alright, let's go add one for toggle freeze, alt 2, apply. Um, as you can see, we know it's working because this box is being um, toggled um, on and off. So, right here we have some infinite health. Alright. Now, since if you can make uh, all the hotkeys that you want, I already have the hotkeys I want, and you want to do that for all the stuff. So, say you have, um, uh, you want to do a hack part for the McDonald's coins or McDonald's points. Um, these little things, you can do that. So, how, how, whatever you want to add into the hack, just make sure you add a hotkey for that to control it. Now, to turn this into a hacked thing, you want to cover to file. Uh, generate trainer and this will make the trainer for it um, there's already a trainer content yeah, yeah okay you won't get that message it's just because I've already made a trainer for this game and you should have this right here it may look different um, yours will actually look different I've already named a trainer it's glitched um, but you can title the trainer whatever you want so let's say we'll call this cyborg elf uh, we can do a little smiley face right there. Um, 
and you want to do you want to select your process name it should be already selected if you selected it um, right here in sheet engine already and there's stuff that you can customize so say like this is the interval um, of the pre like uh, pressing the button and the refresh rate uh, you can do this it's self-explanatory um, you can play music um, they have some weird options uh, this output 99% of the time you'll want to have it as exe unless you want it as like ct for some reason but as exe it could stand alone without cheat engine so that's the best thing to do uh, let's click generate and let's save this to my desktop and we will get another page right here you want to select what the target process is. I believe RetroArch is 64-bit. I might have to go back and change that. Um, like Rainbow is 64-bit. Just check what process it is. It's 64 or 32-bit. And then this is the important part. Features used. Uh, here, if you did any special features and settings, you want to have it checked. Now, in the first part of the series and settings, we actually did. Um, we used D3D hook to read the uh, to read the the emulator memory. Um, so we need to have that checked also on the uh, the trainer and let's click generate and this should should work uh, you'll get an error probably if you don't add a exe icon um, you can add an exe icon if you want but let's test this let's test this out uh, I have it opened up now you can customize it you can add you know special graphics and all of that um, I'm just keeping it you know, quite simple for this uh, for this video, uh, just because I don't want it to be an hour long video. All right, now let's test this out here. Let's go get hurt. Let's do Alt One, and wow, uh, we just gained health. Oops, uh, Alt One, boom, we gained health, and the yes, the health should be frozen, so we can't take damage. But I can do. Alt 2, now I'll take damage, I can give myself health, and there we go. So you've successfully made a cheat engine trainer at this point. Um, with this you cannot add a bypass. Uh, I, I may make other videos where I go over the coding part and how to add bypass to your code. But if you are new and just starting out with hacking, I hope this tutorial helped you. I hope it got you interested in game hacking. Anyways, peace out.